Welcome back to Sip to Tell the Films, aka The Crib, and I'm your host, Coach Evans, here today. Um, we're going to continue our look at or our dive into the explosive runs that were in, uh, reportedly came out of the vault, the mysterious vault. And um, we're just going to go from there. And the very end of the video is, is, is kind of surprising. It was surprising to me when I did the, the research. And uh, let's just get on into it, man. Um, let's roll the intro. Um, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like button. If you like the content, uh, subscribe and um, share. Share anything that you want to talk about about this video or any other videos I've published. Put it in the comment section. I try to reply to it as much as I can. Uh, as far as like goal, let's try to get 300. Try to get 300 in. Let's roll out. Get into the film. All right. Um, this is against the Browns. The first Browns game. You get a jet sweep from Dubonet, which is one of the things we call for a lot. And it's honestly not a jet sweep. It's really a power read. You'll see it from his back end. It's really power read. Guy stays in there. Gets, on, gets a good block by uh, Murray. Andrews gets a good block. He just fits it right in there. Good block by Hollywood down the field. Anytime you have explosive runs, like really explosive runs, a lot of times the receivers are doing their job. They're getting in there and, and not necessarily dominating somebody, but in the way enough that the running back can cut off of them. Versus the Steelers. This is one of my favorite plays right here. As I think this may have been the first time I saw it. I think it's just counter. I think it's counter. You get a fake jet sweep. Then you got counter coming backside from it. Oh, is it power? Let's see. Now you got counter, but you got a traditional counter. You would have these two guys pulling or an H-back and, and the guard pulling. Well, now they, they got a, the tight end, which is Ricard, and the guard pulling. So, it's still counter. So, you got him pulling the kick out, Ricard pulling the wrap, and then you got Devontae going to come backside and hit it like this because you got a guy coming in motion this way. There's a lot going on back here. A lot of window dressing. There go your motion man. Then uh, Freeman comes underneath. There's your kick out. Ricard coming to, you know, first thing that show up. Should have looked inside. I don't know why you're looking outside. You got a nice run. Nice run. This is one of my favorite Roman plays um, from that past season. It was something different. Now versus the Browns. Huntley's in now because Lamar got hurt this game. Number a little draw. And again, if you if you didn't see the first video, the explosive runs do not count for quarterbacks. Pass it. Good spacing for a draw. Good spacing for a draw. Make sure you force them outside, forcing them outside, forcing them outside, forcing them outside. Run the inside up in the middle. Up the, I'm sorry. Run it inside up the middle. And all you got to really do is make this guy miss. And a lot of people, and this is all subject, a lot of people that, you know, talked about Queen and his lack of development or lack of playing time and all that good stuff. This right here is the guy that started in front of Queen at first. That's Phillips. He was the starter in front of Queen before Queen took over, like, game three or four of his last year. So this was the starter. So keep Queen still growing. All right, versus the Packers. This is Latavius Murray. Like some version of counter also. Or power. I think it's counter though. Some version of counter. Let's see. Keep in mind, most of these runs have been counter or power. Got all down blocks. Got a kick out and a wrap. That power to me. Heap, not heap. I want to say heap. I think this boy needs to do a better job of that kick out, though. He on the right shoulder, but man, I think that's one of the um, 91. That's one of the, uh, who was 91 for them? I can't remember his name, but anyway, that's a great job of closing that edge down, too, though. 
And I know we're doing a video on the Ravens, but that's a great job of closing that edge down and not giving the back much room to get through there. But even a better job by Zeitler and Murray to get through there. You see, um, Villanueva out leverage his guy. He don't do a, he don't do a great job of moving him, but he's just in great position to not let him fall back in. That's a great job by this guy of fitting through there. Great job of fitting through there. Fitting through that traffic. Getting skinny, so to speak. Runs out of arm tackle. I think Maynard one of the one of the Smith boys. I don't know if it's Zadarius or not. I think it's one of the Smith boys. Alright, now versus the Rams. It's crazy, crazy how a lot of these runs with Murray. Well, we really didn't have much choice, so let's just forget that thought. Get a little Tylen Wallace action. Nice run. And if, if he had any home run speed left, he probably would have scored. But he give he gave us what he got. Gave us what he got at his age. It looks like split zone. Like he coming through the seal of in, but he going to come through and pop out. Uh, Lamar's reading look like this cat. And if he widens out, he just hands it off. Or if he stays, he just hands it off. He, neither one of them really chased. They kind of slow played it, so he just handed it off. Freeman did a good job of finding the edge. Sammy doing a good job of blocking right now. Sammy's out here. Good job up front, too. Look, everybody's hat on a hat. Nobody really got penetration. You got a little penetration on the edge right here by building the waiver, but, you know, it is what it is. This is the key block right here, though. That's the key block. Now he can turn on what Jesse got left. It's a great run. Great run. Not enough of it, though. Now, this is the crazy part of this. <laughs> I was going through looking for runs, you know, 15, 20 plus yards. And, you know, there was there was not many that were not from the running back position. So you think the Steelers game, you know, Steelers are probably one of the toughest teams to run on. We got four explosive runs from this game. I'm going to show y'all four of them. Four versus the Steelers, which is amazing to me. The same little split zone look that we just saw in the last play. But this time, instead of hitting up the middle, I mean, out the front, though, he comes out the backside. Same play. So while it's still in there, going to do the same thing. They, they, they gap sound over here. The Steelers are gap sound. They gap sound. While it's coming through, going to kind of freeze, kind of freeze that guy. And Devontae just going to follow right behind him and hit it. Oh, no, 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 no. The Steelers, they always run somebody straight to quarterback. They always run somebody straight to quarterback, whether it be Watt, uh, whether it be this cat. Uh, last year, I think it was Bud Dupree. They always run somebody straight at the quarterback. And so Freeman just ran underneath it because they don't want Lamar running. They always attack the match point, the Steelers do. And depending on how, depending on how fast they get there, that you know disrupts the play sometimes. This is play number two. Regular old fashioned power. And if you look at these last three plays, this play and the two following, go back and kind of look at being powers too. This this is the last taste of the running game that we got from last year. So if the run game could, could produce like this with Huntley at quarterback, what what should we be able to do with Lamar back there who's a better a lot better thrower? Cleveland, Cleveland moves a lot better than I thought for a guy that size. He stays low, so he got good pad level. Just watch Cleveland on his pool. He's not because he, he's seven feet tall. I'm exaggerating, but watch how low he stays coming around. Got good body lean right on Devin Bush. Boom, perfect. McCarry's good. Oliver's good. Ben, Ben's good. All you gotta do is jog it out. Pretty much untouched. You can't get any better than that. Can't get any better than that. Good double team by 84, which is Oliver. Good kick out by Thomason, 85. Good wrap by uh, Cleveland. 
Merge see the hole right on time. Murray had a great game this game. He had a great game. And these next two plays are back to back. Same play. They just pretty and with similar results. They call it same they call the same play call. Murray again. Now I don't know. This is not power or counter. This is I don't want to say it's I want to say it might be ISO. Looks similar like an ISO with Tomlinson being playing the role of the fullback. Just ISO and that guy. I could be wrong. You know, if I'm wrong, let me know. I don't claim to know everything. But great job of running through them on top. Because this was Murray was good for because he was so big. But you got a head on the hat, head on the hat, head on the hat, on the, and they got decent leverage. You got a free man coming right here too. But I think he's going to attack Lamar. So this is the guy, McCarty missed, the McCarty only one missed. So this is the guy with the opportunity to make the tackle. But because he's so big, he just run through the moment tackles. Just run through them. Now you got Zyla down the field blocking. I don't know if Hollywood's going to block. We'll see in a second. Okay. All right, very next play. Very next play. Same play. Similar result. Very next play, same play, similar result. You, you get your little insert right there on the same guy because you get the same look. You get a better block on this end by, by McCarry now. You still got a hat on the hat. Still, everybody's still handling their business, but you got a better block right here now. You got White kind of doing something to um to Mandrews, and then now you got Hollywood here at the line of scrimmage instead of up here. Let's see, look at that. Look at that wall. Untouched. 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 Great job by Zeitler. Great job by Thomason. Great job by Bozeman. McCarry did better on the second time. Uh, Cleveland's good. Villain Wave was okay. Look at that wall. Untouched. Now imagine JK and and um and uh Gus getting some of these. Now you know, they've been trying to block. He misses. He trying though. But if he don't trip over Bateman, who knows what what would happen on that run? So again, that's the lasting impression from from uh, last year. The the runs. This Steelers games. This Steelers game right here gave me more hope, more promise. Got me even more excited about what the run game can be. We really got to find passes to complement these runs, though. Uh, I think if we could run the ball like we did in this game and like we did in the past, the play-action game would be great. And um, I'm excited, man, to to see what they put together. I hope they mesh this thing together and we get a dominant offense back in 2022. I really hope they do. So, uh, again, I appreciate you guys for the support. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. And uh, we'll see you next week. Enjoy the weekend.